you just saved his life and now he wants you to bribe him. So we've just had a three day clock wipe, right? It's three days later. <laughs> okay. I don't know where we've been sleeping or stuff. It looks like we've just been standing here for three days. And then our <laughs> uncle much, comes yeah. out. Oh, here we go. Is this your, it's your uncle? Now he looks younger than me as well. He's my uncle. Damn girl, the years haven't been kind to you. Gamlin. He doesn't look like a beggar. Well, I think he's not necessarily a beggar. He's just fallen on hard times. Yeah, credit crunch has hit him quite badly. But we've been away for a long time. Apparently we've been away for like 25 years. What? So that's how old I am, actually. I'm 25, effectively. Oh. Um, oh. Oh, make her save me. Leandra, don't drop this on me here. I don't even know if I can help you get in. Would it help if I said you were my favourite uncle? <laughs> it would make me feel better, but that's about it. I was hoping to grease some palms, but the Knight Commander's been cracking down. We're gonna need more grease. But, what about these? Well, you did just save that guy's fucking life by helping to defend the city. Mm. That doesn't count for anything, though. That was just, you know, bollocks. To settle a debt, I've been meaning to write you. Then there's no hope. N not quite. I know some people who might help. Oh, apparently I'm just cons I'm just consulting the the walkthrough of Dragon Age Two. Apparently, like the full like storyline of getting into the city takes up eighty percent of the game, which is about six and a half hours playtime. <laughs> and then you finally get into the city, and a dragon appears and kills everyone. And uh... <laughs> That's the best I could do. Trust me when I say a bunch of refugees won't get a better option anywhere else. We cut down dozens of Darkspawn and an ogre to get here. That has to count for something. Unless you brought an ogre's head along on the boat, I doubt it. I managed to convince my contacts to come to the gallows to meet you personally. Miran heads up... Can't you just, like, isn't there a different way in? Is there just... I mean, seriously, it's a city. Are you telling me there's just like one gate into Why the city? Why isn't there an it? option where I can just carve my way in, literally? And there's like a, a, f a 50 foot wall around the entire city. Okay, so there's a mercenary and a smuggler. <sighs> and one of them is supposed to be able to get me into the city if I do their bidding. Alright. Compared to some of the other thieves guilds around here. But she's tough, she's fair, and she never deals in slaves or flesh. What kind of man is this, Miran? This isn't like the big epic storyline that I was expecting. Just all this fucking around to get into a city. I mean, isn't is the world ending or what? But this is What's going this is, on. Are you are you a great this hero? This is the best RPG of the decade, Simon. Oh right, of course. Sorry, sorry. That's what PC just, gamer said, right? Just bear in, bear it bear that in mind. Okay, I've got to be patient because obviously, in the best PC game, uh, the best RPG of the decade, rather, you know, there's bound to be like a couple of hours of just boring shit. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> Until you get to the good bit, because that's how it works. More than a couple of hours, mm. and then it'll mm. end. The game will end after that, usually. Um, so these guys, blah 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 blah. I don't like how, you know, my background is, like, set in stone mm. in this. I mean, in Origins, you had... In Origins, right, the best bit about Origins was there were literally eight different backgrounds, and, you know, playing through those individually was very rewarding. The rest of the game was kind of there as a bonus, and once you played through it once, it was kind of like, you know, okay. And I feel for you, Sarah, but, but it's the best I can do. If they just let us into the city... I could get three times that price. This is some um, merchant asshole guy. Mm. Um, but, uh, who's like preying on the the people who are stuck outside the city? With an know? E. Now then, what can I do for you, Sarah? But obviously, I can't talk to him because you know there's nothing to do with. Um, 
there's no I haven't got the quest yet to relate it to him obviously and I can't trade either seems very 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 linear as well it's like you talk to someone there's a bit of a cut scene you talk to them a bit more and then you walk to the next guy you talk to them a bit I'm sure you're very broken up over it what uh, I meant you uh, folks like yourself <coughs> well yeah I mean it, it starts getting open now so I mean obviously I can either talk to the smuggler or I can talk to the mercenary it's up to me ah, which one I gotcha. do those two um, and either of them will be able to get you into the city and once you're in the city it's much, much more open, and you can pretty much do an option of like five different things. The nephew. Um, Your uncle talked up a storm about you. He better not be blowing more smoke out his ass. No, he's not blowing smoke out of his ass. Ass. I'm ready he to said prove in myself. The top <laughs> titles. Noble bastard named Friedrich is here in the gallows. Gave us bad info. Almost killed my men. Now he's hiding out here, waiting for a ship. He sees us coming, he'll run for sure. But he doesn't know you. Go why is the music men. just soaring so make much? Sure no one asked why. You're just having like it. <laughs> I don't know. Just built to a cres crescendo for like no apparent S reason. I think I need to change the sound settings, even though I haven't have modified Jack anything in this game. He's still out there, but he's alone. And he's not so this is him, free drinks. Uh, right, okay. I don't trust this. What will we do when the ship comes? Wait, who are you? I demand to know what you're doing here. I want to hear what you have to say before I decide anything. I obviously want to Mule see if there's like a way I can, bro like you know, I could have figured that out for myself. Do this safely Look without you. actually. I don't them, know what that pissant thug is paying you, but I'll double it. Just let us go. So I'm like, oh right, coin. That's a good option. Let's get double. Make it worth my time, and I'll let you go. Oh, thank the maker. Wasn't that coin supposed to be paying us to keep your hide safe? So there we are, a non-specific <laughs> amount of gold. If you want to fight them, be my guest. Oh. Um. You so me? he says, so they're paid to defend him, right? And what? he doesn't pay them, what? and they fight us. <laughs> what sense that does that make? Any make? fucking sense? That does not make any, make any sense. What happened there? What was that? So. He gave the money that he was paying for those mercenaries to us. Oh god, now some more guys come in and there's oh, it's more ridiculous. and more and more. These are these guys wouldn't what? have like oh it's ridiculous. Anyway. Whoa! They're not particularly hey, hard. Whoa. Even though I'm sort of spazzing out in the wall a bit here. So you gave a guy some money and now you have to kill like all of his entourage. No, I took money from him to leave him alone. <coughs> oh, and right, his entourage okay. attacked me because they thought that they weren't being paid. But surely if a mercenary company aren't being paid, they just wouldn't do any fighting. Isn't that how they work? They're paid to fight. <laughs> Fucking hell. Possibly. Stupid. Really stupid. Did you just ding again? So anyway, this guy obviously told me to kill Friedrichs, and so he's mm. a little bit pissed off. I hope whatever he offered you was enough to get you in on your own. Well, I did kill all of his guards. <laughs> so maybe just run up to him and bonk him on the head with a stick. And he'll just fall over. And there you go. <sighs> Finish him off yourself, yeah. I mean, for goodness sake. So this is just, this is the other contact. So I'm like, oh shit, I fucked up one of them. What if I fuck up this one as well? I was actually very tempted to deliberately fuck this one up. And then, like, find out what happens, you know? How is this game 94% and game of the decade or RPG of the decade? Tell me I mean, what? what? Done. There's a merchant named Cavril, friend of the Have you heard of Neverwinter? It's coming out like soon. It's Her like, face is a bit weird. It's like the new Baldur's Gate. It's supposed to be quite good. Another Neverwinter game. Yeah, it's called Neverwinter. Neverwinter 3? Oh, it's just like a reimagining or relaunching. Uh, hmm. I don't know, it's just quite good though. <laughs> um, Let's just talk so about anything else other than... 
Uh, I've got to go back mess. to this guy, no. find it and get some money off him, right? So I'm like, right, okay, I'm going to mm, get some mm, money mm. off you, you, you bastard. I'm going to kill you, I'm going to take your money. How about that? Oh, I see. Should I go tell the guards? Should I go tell the guards, he says. And he says, no, don't worry about telling the guards. Because these guys are sanctioned, okay? So I'm like, right, you need to pay what you owe. That doesn't sound like a unreasonable one, does it? I'm here to collect, and I'm not well, Not really. Away. No, um, I'm not paying you thieves a single copper more. So oh. he says no, and then no. these guys attack, and the city guard are on my side. Even though a second ago, the guard said, should we call the guard? And what? So I thought the city this guard were going to attack me, because they were on his side. But no, there's the city guard who are just coming in to help me. What? Is this is this what happens in this game? You talk to some people, you piss them off, and then you fight their friends. <laughs> yep. And then look what is going to happen. Well, hang on. I've <laughs> got to kill a few more randoms out of nowhere first. Oh yeah. Get knocked yeah, back over and over they again. Just show up. There's always people just waiting in the fucking wings, wherever mm. you are. I actually kind of like the combat. It's kind of fun, mm. actually. Stop enough! Here, take the key for the chest. That should be enough to pay that witch. Hooray! Let those guards find someone else to buy Dogland junk. So I let that fucker escape. Hmm. And just walk yeah, off. But you got gold. Of course you do. Because he's the total arsehole. I've killed like fifteen guards of his. I'm just gonna let him go. Why not? I don't understand that you've killed so many people and yet you couldn't fight your way into the city. You probably would have killed like a tenth of the people that you've fucking killed already. Anyway, she's like, hey go, I'll get you into the city. And I'm like, oh, thank you. It's preposterous. So finally... So she, so she gets me into oh, the city finally. somehow. And now there's something very weird. Any luck? Yes, they've agreed to help us. I'll mm. speak to a Thinril and see when the bribes can be made. Wait here. I guess we did it. We're here to stay. Is he just gonna run off with the fucking money? So he makes some bribes to get us into the city. But I've agreed, or in addition to this mm. huge bribe, to be effectively a slave to this guy called a Thinril, who we haven't even met yet, for mm. a year, and my brother. I'm so sorry? me and my brother what? are effectively slaves what? for a year. <laughs> what? What? That's what we've agreed to. What? And so then it flashes forward a year. Not even joking. Who came up with this story? But Lothering was destroyed. Kirkwall was the champion's home now. So he remained. I'm not the bloody really? sword and shield, I'm not the champion, the I'm a wizard, that's the wrong logo. Maybe in the future you'll, great storm you'll turn into a warrior. Maybe I will. Hundreds of warriors stranded in the city, waiting to return home. And so some Kunari have turned up in the city. That's also when the trouble began. And some troubles mages. began. Yeah. The Templars had become very powerful. So th how did they gain access to the city America. then? But most importantly, well, that's when I first... I don't know. Big bribe, <laughs> slaves for a year, talked to a load of mercenaries and smugglers, Probably. killed a few guards that not weren't related to the city guards. I don't know. Look at that tooltip. Fuck me. <laughs> Can you believe that? What does it say? Oh, it's about like a... The quick bar at the bottom of your screen screen has spells mapped to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and zero. Oh my god! <laughs> no. It's a dwarf. Dwarf. So it's a grumpy dwarf. Look, we know you're going into the deep roads. You'll need to hire the best. Now that sounds 
Cool. Getting hired to go into the deep roads, doesn't it? The money from this trip could fix mm. everything. Going on an adventure, treasure hunting in the deep roads. You're not going to go. That sounds good though, doesn't it? Yeah. Are you at all? Well, this dwarf doesn't want us to go, but we want to go. You make him understand. We're running from your bloody Templars. See, the problem here is that the story is now that I'm like a apostate hmm. mage or something. So, therefore, the Templars are chasing us, and we, it's a good idea to get out. What? Yeah. It wasn't really explained, <laughs> except in that cutscene very poorly. Cool. Find another meal ticket. Well, back to waiting for someone to turn us in. So he won't let us go on the deep roads. After all, the Templars dogging us are mine. Did I sound that bad? Maker, I'm turning into Gamlin. Jesus Christ. Gamlin. I'm so fucking bored. I'm so fucking bored. I'm tabbed out just looking at stuff from Firefox. I'm just reading. I can't even be asked to watch the fucking video. What well, I mean, what is this? Just people just talking. I wouldn't trust him with a silver, but dear uncle's at least as sleazy as Bartrand. How's that for a compliment? <sighs> Where's like all the fucking intrigue about like kings wanting to fucking kill each other and stuff that was in the first game? This is like. Yeah, we might have to go somewhere, but we're not sure. And oh, someone just robbed it's me. It's gonna pick up. Hey, there you, you go. Oh my god! I knew a guy once who could take every coin out of your pockets just by smiling at you. But you, you don't have the style. This is what it takes. It takes a dwarf with a fucking crossbow. <laughs> <laughs> a dwarf hunter to liven things up. You've just set up, haven't you? Yeah, a dwarf <laughs> hunter. Exactly. And now he's dead, because that's what happens. There's no blood. How do you do? Beric Tethras, at your service. I apologize for Bartrand. He wouldn't know an opportunity if it hit him square in the jaw. But you would? I would. What my brother doesn't realise is that we need someone. Why doesn't he have a Scottish accent though? Oh my god, I didn't even notice. He's just a short He's bloke. hairy chest. That's all he is. He's not a real he dwarf. He is actually, isn't he? He's just a short man. Yeah. There must be some way to persuade your brother to hire us on. It's because he hasn't got a proper beard going on, isn't it? Ah, uh, that's quite a big thing, yeah. The truth is, Bartrand's been tearing his beard out trying to fund this on his own, but he... I'm sorry? <laughs> <laughs> you just said the word beard. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was that was spooky. That was so spooky. you have to earn a huge mm. amount of coin doing odd jobs around the city to fund your expedition to the deep roads. What? There's right. more to this, like how I'm supposed to get that much coin to <laughs> You need to think big. There's only a brief window after a blight when the deep roads won't be crawling with dark spawn. The treasure you find down there could set you and your family up for life. Come on. <gasps> the dwarf makes some sense. No offense. Look, you started this, and it's a good idea. Certainly better than ending up in the gallows. We work together, you and I, and before you know it, you'll have all the capital you need. What do you say? You have a deal. Perfect. Hell yeah, team up with the dwarf. Hooray! Shame you can't choose to be a dwarf, okay. but, no meh, or sure. choose to be anything. Well, you could choose to be a man um, or a woman. I suppose. Mm, that was it, wasn't it? She joined the city guard, right? We should talk privately when you get the chance. In the hanged man, maybe. I'll be there when I'm not with you. Now, let's go see what trouble... So there we are. Now I'm in the city, and I've got basically no direction at all. Well, you've been in the city for a year, so none of this should be new to well, you. Well, yeah, and that's the case. <laughs> you do meet a lot of people that you've seen before, I think, and oh they give God. you quests and things. And some people were sort of complaining that they got a bit clueless at this point, but I wasn't too bad. So he's got a crossbow called Bianca. All right. <coughs> of course he has. But it's quite cool. It's one of these... It's like an heirloom item, so it levels up with him. So shall we carry on this? Do you want to do more of these? Let us know in the comments if you want us to do mm. more playthrough. Mm. Otherwise, we'll just say fuck it. Does it get better? Delete it. Let us know. <laughs> we played it. Does it get better? Because <laughs> really, you know, why should we? Why should we continue making videos on this if it doesn't get better? 
I mean, it's a good-looking game, and it's got a dwarf in it, so, I mean, that's, that's like two stars, two yog stars, already, but, you know, it needs to get up to 15, mm. so, it's got a long way to go, in my, in my eyes.